Well, last Sunday we had a lovely uh, evening meal. It was a beautiful vegetable uh, stir fry with some wheat noodles ready to wok um, noodles, uh, which is you know one of my favourite meals. I think regular viewers will already know that I really like noodles, but. Um, on a couple of occasions uh, after eating sort of stuff like that I've had a few stomach problems and on Sunday night I went through the most awful awful stomach pains it was uh, really bad uh, all my joints were aching as well and over time I really felt very ill indeed in fact I felt ill all night I didn't get any sleep uh, I had to sit up most of the night you know clutching my stomach in pain um, not knowing what to do about it but you know thinking on past experiences that must be the the food I've just eaten <clears throat> so um, <coughs> It's uh, Thursday after that Sunday, <clears throat> right now as I make this video, and I'm just about recovered, just about, um, because I'm actually still feeling a little bit woozy, uh, a little bit shaky. Um, but I'd, from, from Sunday night at eight o'clock, right through till about, um, well, I suppose four or five o'clock on uh, Tuesday afternoon was it Tuesday afternoon I can't quite remember I wasn't able to eat anything and so I was just drinking so there's a lot of time um, not eating <clears throat> and I think having during that time done a lot of research on my symptoms and how I was feeling and what was happening and all the research I've done in the past and all the things that have happened to me with the stomach problems in the past I'm, I'm now super confident that I'm um, gluten intolerant I don't think it's gone as far as celiac disease um, I, th I think if, if, I, if I leave it and just ignore it it will advance but um, I don't think it's that bad it's just the intolerance so for the next six months as a minimum I'm going to cut out gluten from my diet now uh, I know from other members of the family that it's not super easy to cut gluten out but it's not impossible it's not it's not that hard you just have to not eat stuff with gluten in like wheat barley or rye that sort of stuff and anything else so uh, meat non-processed meat um, like steak beef chicken pork that sort of stuff no gluten in that fresh vegetables no gluten in those uh, fruit no gluten in that um, dairy products as far as I know no gluten in that so um, I'm not I'm not an expert but I'm learning as I go and hopefully you'll follow my journey as I go gluten free <clears throat> as I've started to eat again um, Wendy's been very kind she's been out because I haven't I spent all day Monday in bed asleep almost delirious because I was quite dehydrated and um, I spent a lot of the day on Tuesday uh, in bed as well uh, just trying to drink water uh, and um, when it's very kind she went out and bought some corn flakes so corn no gluten in that um, and some bananas great for energy replacement and no gluten in those so fresh fruit so breakfast Thursday morning was uh, bowl of corn flakes oat milk which I think probably has um, maybe I don't know maybe it will or maybe it won't I have to check 
Um, I don't think it does. Oat milk, uh, so oat milk, cornflakes, and a banana for breakfast. I'm going to try and document exactly what I eat as I go through each day, <coughs> and put those up on a uh, on a maybe my personal um, blog or Instagram account, and uh, you know just keep keep a track of that in a more detailed way. But that's um, you know if you're if you're wondering what happened um, back earlier this week why we weren't uploading videos it's because I just wasn't able to make any edit any and upload any because you know that's that's the stuff that I do that Wendy's not really aware of so she wasn't able to edit and upload um, so it wasn't wasn't any point in making any so that's why we weren't uploading videos I was extraordinarily ill again <laughs> so I'm hoping that cutting out all the gluten is going to eliminate all that it's going to make me a bit healthier too because I, I think I'm going to have to be careful about what I eat when I eat and, and really sort of take a bit more notice of that anyway so that's that's where we are um, it's also <laughs> lucky for me being ill all that time and being in bed and completely unaware of what's going on it's been raining all that time <laughs> now now I'm a bit better it's very very sunny so we'd love it um, being ill at the right times is very important in life too so <laughs> I'm, I'm usually pretty lucky in that way get ill at the right time anyway we're going to see you again tomorrow with some happier news uh, <laughs> of us just enjoying our travelling life we'll see you again then bye bye for now Hello.